Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday and um, it's October the 9th and this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3 and you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org like I say come by every morning um, between the hours of 9 and 12 for a wonderful cup of coffee and on cold mornings, uh, brisk mornings like this, it's very innovating. So come by and visit us and see us in the flesh. Our weather pattern. Over the greater Midwest, the weather pattern that is dominating is one of very windy and sunny. Sunny and windy, but it is dry. There's no rain in the forecast. The high temperatures will be in the 70s. And a few places, especially in Kansas, it could catch in the high 80s. Uh, a very low pressure uh, that is emanating out of the Rockies will bring with it storms. It will bring with it storminess um, tomorrow, early tomorrow afternoon and late into tomorrow evening, Thursday. And it will also bring some isolated thunderstorms and these are possible from the western it coming coming in from the west late thursday and and as these thunderstorms move up from the west to the east and to the north they will leave with it um, some heavy rains uh, in its wake and last week we talked about the atlas system that brought in the storms and snow to the west and north of us well, this Atlas system will now bring rain. Uh, it will bring rain and heavy, um, and the culmination of the rain and the snow that is melting will bring a flooding threat to several areas. The heavy rain and the snow that's melting, lots of water, and that will um, cause some threat, um, flooding problems. But right now in the square, it is a sunny, 70 degrees. The skies are clear, but the wind is gusting out there, uh, but it is right at 70 degrees. And for the next six hours or so, we can expect to see this pattern remaining. Um, the winds coming in from the south, they will be at 20 to 25 miles per hour as the, the temperature rises up to about 82 degrees for the high here uh, locally. Tonight, those winds will continue to blow from the south-southeast uh, at about 16 miles per hour. And we can see partly cloudy skies and the temperature is right at 56 degrees. Thursday and Friday looks pretty much like today. The weather pattern will be dry and sunny. The winds gusting in from the south, um, persistingly from the south at 28 miles per hour and the highs in the mid 80s and lows 50 to 58 degrees in the mid, the mid 50s for the lows. In our community, today we want to wish a Judy Skelton a happy birthday and tomorrow we want to wish Lois Messick a happy birthday and on Friday, Robert Frick. So if you see these people going around in the square or at the post office or the grocery store, or better than that, give them a call and wish them a happy birthday. Some interesting um, information if you're dealing with youth, if you have a youth group or any activities to do with youth, the Golden Belt Foundation is now accepting grants from nonprofits and civic and community organizations and they, their grants are mainly to deal with the health and the education of the young people. So this is a wonderful um, place um, to get some financial support for the young people. And this is all over the Stafford County, so wherever you are, those, that help is available. Tomorrow, um, there will be a send-off party um, for the EMS director, Mr. Steve Moody, 
And this party will be held in the county annex. It, they will be celebrating his service here to the community and his service at, uh, at, over his career and um, as he leaves to go to El Dorado. So the, the public is invited and the refreshments, refreshments will be available. And at 7 p.m., do come over and wish Steve all the best as he leaves our city and go on to better and bigger things. And don't forget, on Saturday the 12th, the Boy Scouts will be collecting food. Boy Scout and the Cub Scout will be collecting for the food bank. Um, they have hung the, the little flyers on your door. I know I got one. And um, they'll be picking up on Saturday. So please um, leave your bounty outside on the porch and mark it um, scouting for food and or or if not just go ahead and place the hangers on what you want to donate and they're also um, accepting um, monetary contributions so please call over at 549-6489 if you want to know how how to do that but please don't forget on Saturday morning that's a great job that the Boy Scout and the Cub Scout do for our community and it is well used. You know, we have been talking about the flu shots and 9 out of 10 people and more than 6 out of 10 hospital stays that are flu related um, happen to people over 65. So if you are 65 or older and work with the elderly, please do not forget to get your flu shot. Call 1-877-517-3504 for further information on the flu shot. And the, that's the Department of Health. And the local number is 549-3504. And they will be able to give you that. Again, mark your calendars. Some two great activities that are coming up at the First United Methodist Church, the Women's Bazaar and Soup Supper. That will be October the 6th, 16th at 4.30 to 7. And the church is located at 807 East 1st Street. And they have on their menu chili or chicken noodle soup delicious sandwich and a dessert and drink and that would be only seven dollars and if the person is ten or under it's only three dollars and fifty cents they will have a, a small bazaar and it will include homemade baked goods jelly and craft items and I know the UMW at the church do a wonderful mission work so any donations that's made from this affair Will be, don will be donated to their missions. Similarly, on the Sunday the 20th, it's the 27th annual turkey dinner over at the St. John Catholic Church, and that will be in the Catholic Wit Center at 604 East 4th Street, and that will be from 12 until 1.30. And it's an excellent turkey dinner, so please uh, mark your calendars for that. That's a week from this Sunday coming up. And they will have prizes, which will, will include a queen-size quilt, a couple of bicycles, and various gift certificates. And that join will be right at 1.30. And if you need your turkey dinner, if you can't come, give them a call at 549 eight four seven because they will deliver the turkey dinner to you and just give them your name and your address and they'll be happy to deliver that to you for a cost of ten dollars and that is well worth it and bring your non-perishable food items to be no donated to the food bank and receive a free ticket for the altar society raffle and that is going to be well worth it. And our food for thought today. We've been talking about flu-fighting foods. 
and today it's carrots. Carrots are rich in beta carotene, which the body uses to fight off upper respiratory infection. And beta carotene can be found in dark green vegetables, sweet potato, pumpkin, and winter squash. So, along with your food, well, along with your flu shot, make sure you do eat a lot of beta carotene containing foods to fight off uh, upper respiratory infections. Or food for thought for today: carrots.